Hello everyone, this is Kevin Tiller and I'd like to go over how I use the app Comic Life. Now if you've been following me at all, uh, you know that I do almost everything in the Comic Life app. I am such a visual learner, I absolutely love the ability to create my own uh, posters, my own uh, assignments and things of that nature. So what I'm going to do is actually go in and show you how I uh, go about creating things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the app itself. Now as you see I have Comic Life and then Comic Life 3. The one that has, says Comic Life is actually the older version that's Comic Life 2 it should be called. But uh, Comic Life 3 is so much better because it, it acts very much like the Pages app and I'll show you how um, it actually does that. So as I open it here you'll see some of the things that I've uh, been working on and some of the things that I continue to work on as I go through and I scroll here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to hit the plus sign up at the left here and I'm going to open up and create a new comic. And as I create a new comic you see I have all of these different layouts and all these different templates that I can choose. But I do the majority of my work in just a blank template. So as it comes up here you're going to see that there are some options. Now on the top right I have that little paintbrush and the paintbrush gives me the ability to change the background color of that page that I'm working on there. Okay, If I go to some of the options here, I have other options, some other color options that I can change the background to as I push them. And even more options from there, I can do black or any sort of grayscale or any of those as well. So as I go back, I'm going to go up now to the plus sign. Now when I go to the plus sign, you're going to see that there's a drop down menu and there's there's four different options that I have. I have first of all I have anything that is in my photos. So any of the photos that I have taken or any of the pictures that I've gotten off the internet, I'll use those. Then I have arrows and and all sorts of different shapes that I can put on there. And then I can go to these sort of stickers that I can place on there. And then there is uh, web photos. I haven't used too much of the web photos only because I do take a lot of my pictures off the internet. And I'll actually show you how I do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to uh, the internet and let's say that I want to go and I want to get a picture of a basketball. So I just type in basketball and uh, no that's not basketball that's my website. But a basketball that comes up and as you see that I have I've pressed on the word images and as the images come up I'm going to press on it so the first one there then I'm just going to press on it and I'm going to hold until the word save image comes up. Then I will hit save image and then I will quit out of the internet and I'll go back to my comic life and if I hit the plus again you're gonna see that that basketball actually comes up and then I can use it, manipulate it, make it different sizes or whatever it is that I need to do on that page right there. Now I do want you to notice there's one thing that if you go, if I go back to the internet again I'm gonna search for the word basketball and as it comes up, you'll see that there are different kinds. The first kind that you see there in the background, you actually can see these little uh, checkers. That means that the complete background is removed from that picture. And the only thing you're going to get is that basketball picture. If I go and I look at another picture of a basketball, uh, let's see, let me take this one. Let's see if that one has a checkered background. Yep, that one does, so I'm not going to take that one. Um, but let's say this one. Now you see that there is no checkered background in the background here, so that means when that picture uploads, I'm going to get that full white background as well. So there is a way on the app that you can actually take out the backgrounds of any of the pictures that you have, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'll save this picture, I'll save this image, and then I'll go back to the app, and I'll get rid of this one. I'll just press on it and hit delete. And then I'm going to add that picture. Oops, go back to my camera roll instead. That's where it was saved. And as you can see, what I'll do is I'll change the background of the page so you can kind of see it better. Now, what you can do is press on it, and then there's something called Instant Alpha. And Instant Alpha actually allows you to remove the backgrounds of the photograph. So when I'm done, boom. Now, if I go back and I change the background, you can see that there is no background, just the picture or that shadow itself. 
and as I go back here it kind of looks pretty cool. So that's how I've done a lot of my graphics and things of that nature is using uh, uh, the pictures without the background. Those are actually called PNG files or I've used the instant alpha function as well. And there's a couple of other things that I'd like to show you here. Now the Comic Life 3 that is out right now actually has um, the ability to center. And you see those center lines that come up? And so that's in the dead center. If I take this picture and I put it right there, that's in the dead center of the page. Whereas Comic Life 2 didn't have that. And that's what I mean, it acts like pages. If you ever go to the Pages app uh, on the iPad and, and take a look around at that and try to put images in and things like that, they are those centering lines. And what I'm going to do is I'll take this picture and I want to duplicate it, so I'll hit copy and then I hit paste and then I can center picture on picture just like that. As you see that line that comes across center picture on picture. So that's very very cool. Now the other thing that I can do in this uh, in this app is I can take the uh, lettering and I can type in basketball and I can take that lettering and make it bigger and then I can go up to the paintbrush and I can change the different style of lettering that it is. So I can make it all sorts of different funky uh, fonts and things of that nature. What I could also do is I can change the colors of it as well. So if I don't like that blue, I can change it to that one or that one, or rainbow, or whatever it is that I want to do. And again, that has the ability to be centered as well. So, so many different things that they were able to do with the Comic Life 3 app that makes it so much better than the Comic Life 2 app. Now, the talk, don't get me wrong, Comic Life 2 app was awesome. That was the program that I wrote my second book on, but it made it so much easier to write the third book that I just put out um, for Comic Life 3. So, now when I'm done with all of this, there's a couple of options that I have. Um, I go up to My Comics, where it says My Comics, I hit that, and that saves it. So that'll save it to my program here, and if I push on it again, I have this little arrow that comes up out of the box and I can send a copy and I can send it in th these many different ways. I do mostly PDF and JPEGs. That's how I save my documents from here or save my projects from here. Uh, if I have a really big one that I don't want to lose ever, then I will go and I will save it in the Comic Life app itself and then I transfer it to my Dropbox account. And then there's also the option for EPUB, which I've experimented a little bit with it, but I haven't done too much. Like I said, I mostly do PDF and JPEG. But there's also an option to open it in a, another app. So let's say I want to create a PDF of it, and it's going to generate that for me. And then afterwards, it asks me to choose the app. And then any of the apps that are on my iPad, I could actually upload it too. And I really like uh, Dropbox. I've done it with Dropbox, and um, it's worked really, really well for me to upload. The other thing that I can do with this as well is I can duplicate a comic. So let's say I want to make a, a duplicate of it. I can do that. I can hit it and as there's a duplicate. I can rename the comic. So if I want to rename it Basketball, I can do that as well. And then I'm done. And then uh, if I want to trash it, if I don't want it anymore, then I can simply hit that and then delete the comic and it's gone. And so it's very good. And I can also print as well if I need to. So if I find a printer, uh, air printer or whatever. We have one at home, but it's not on right now, so that's why it's not coming up. But you can do that as well. And uh, if you want to send a copy, let's say it's a picture that you want to send, and you want to send it not just to Dropbox, but if you want to mail it or put a message or put a tweet or save it into the Pocket app or just save the image when it says save image, that will go directly into my camera roll. So that way I have that later on if I'd like to use that for whatever it is that... Uh, I want to use it for maybe I want to use it in another document so I have that available as well so there we go so there's a review of the Comic Life 3 app I hope you found it uh, uh, informative um, and hopefully I've been able to sell you on the program because I absolutely love it so thank you again for watching and uh, we'll see you next time